Hi, what's up guys? Teach the Jeff you know the story. So, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to analyze VIX-75. So, VIX-75 is a synthetics that is found on derv.com. So, if you're not aware uh, on how to trade VIX-75 or where you can find it, you can find it uh, on derv.com. So, in this video, I just want to walk you through how you can analyze VIX-75 in its simplest form. So, you must first start by labeling your chart. Once you label your chart, you have to indicate everything. Make sure you indicate the time frame um, or on which you're trading in. Uh, it really helps uh, on having the, the good mindset, uh, the positive energy as a, as a person who's trading. So first thing first, after you label your chart, don't forget you must um, identify your uh, support and mostly resistance you must identify these levels as they will help you understand the direction of the market so we'll start by identifying the support it really helps in the understanding So right, we've just identified our support trend level. So um, we must uh, now identify the resistance uh, level. So we, we're looking forward to identify the resistance level. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Make sure you identify and label uh, everything, like every step of the way. You must label and identify. So we've labeled our support trend line, so support trend level, I mean. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This actually helps in, in, in building up the mentality that you need as a trader. So once you analyze all the time, it helps boost your confidence and it just adds more knowledge to something that, you've, that you already know. So we just identified a bearish channel right here. Yes, so now we're identifying trend lines. This will help you understand uh, market direction. So you must first start by uh, identifying your support levels and resistance levels. Then you can now introduce your trend lines. As you can see, that's a, uh, that was a bullish uh, trend line, it was a bullish channel. So now we've just identified it. support trend line so we just want to identify our areas of the support trend lines it will help you understand and set up the right targets let's go let's go let's go let's go
Yeah, so we've just identified our resistance uh, trend line as well. So we are now identifying our targets. We just identified our targets. That's the channel, guys. It's a bullish channel. So we've identified our bullish channel. I'll put the arrows just to help us, like give us guidelines to um, what happens when the market touches the line. Uh, like what happens when market touches the resistance trend line. So as we can see, once market touches the resistance trend line, it's trending bullish, bearish, I mean. So we, we, we can see the drops. We can see the drops, so we'll do the same uh, on the support trend line as well. So we just identified our support our support levels as well. That's it. Okay, let's go. Just make sure I identify everything that you see. So we've got our support right over there. That's our inner support. That's our support. So we've got our resistance on the top again. So our support, support is always on the bottom and resistance is always on the top part. So that's our support and that's our resistance. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You just have to put in the right work uh, and surround yourself with the right people. Otherwise, trading is it's really good. It's very interesting. It's, I, I love trading myself. Uh, it's something that uh, took me a lot of years, but... Um, Okay, so we've just identified our trend lines right now so make sure you do the same to like you know you have to put the arrows in once you put the arrows in make sure you identify the bottoms and the, the upper arrows as well so we've got our support and we also have our resistance in the same area as you can see so we'll just identify them again
perfect now that we have uh, identified our channel it makes us easy to make a decision whether we're going in for a buy or we're going for a sell let's go let's go let's go let's go So yeah, we've identified our support and resistance over there. Yes, and again, the Fibonacci helps us identify the zones. So once you use the Fibonacci, it will help you identify the zones. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, so now that we've got our zones, uh, our train lines, our channels, It will be very much easier for us to make a decision whether we're selling or buying so we'll make sure you depend on your analysis because the analysis will help you understand and learn quite a lot if you can't analyze then you always lose money in trading but if you analyze at least with your strategy you will build up the confidence that you need in trading So that's our target, it's good. We're expecting to sell there. That's where we are seeing our take profit. So whenever you're placing your stop loss, just make sure you place you, you place it at just um, a few pips uh, above your resistance zone. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just make sure you put in every details for it to it'll be easy for you to remember. Okay, now we have to identify that's our resistance trend line. So it's easier if you identify your chance. It will be much easier for you to make profit uh, in trading. So once you identify, make sure you do the same to the uh, bottom part. Because it's a channel, so we must uh, identify each and every detail in the chart. let's go let's go let's go let's go okay so that that that's what happened to the market uh, we had a very nice break which was a break retest this was our market outcome so expecting price to push uh, down to the support so we can have the buy signals on the support So that's our channel now. So we're still trending bullish. We had a bearish pullback. So now market uh, will continue trending bullish. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Patience and risk management is all you need to master to become a profitable trader. We are digital age, FX and our aim is to make trade simple for you.